Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Now if you've been following us on Instagram or you've seen any of our latest videos, you'll know that I've started to work in a bit of cross training with a weekly mountain bike ride with the boys. Uh, now currently I don't actually have a bike of my own and I've been borrowing good friend Andy's bike. Uh, the ride in being back in the saddle has been wicked and it's rapidly becoming the highlight of my training week. So you might have noticed behind me the sign for MT3 cycles down here in Cornwall. So so I thought it was about time I treated myself to a nice shiny new steed. So let's get inside, let's have a look at the bikes and I'm going to be like a kid in a sweet shop. Right, we are here with Perrin, who is the owner of MT3 Cycles. Welcome to the channel, man. Thanks for coming on. No, thank you very much. Um, also, thanks for staying open late so that we can come in and have a look at all the stock and have a look at some bikes. Uh, really, really appreciate that. And obviously You're do welcome. some filming as well. Um, bit of background, mate. Um, how long has the shop been open? What's your background when it comes to cycling and things like that? The shop's been open just over a year now, a uh, year and three months to be exact. We opened in December 2021, um, or oh, 2020, sorry. Unfortunately, uh, we were delayed a little bit because of the uh, the pandemic, but I sort of bit the bullet and now was the time. Yeah, a bit about me, my background. I used to be a professional mountain biker, professional uh, yeah, uh, jumping. Pretty, pretty handy mountain bike ride. In fact, I reckon if you've got some old footage, we should insert some footage now so you can see what crazy stuff this guy used <laughs> to do. Mind blowing. So I was riding for a few fairly big brands um, back in the day and unfortunately had some serious knee injuries, ACL reconstructions. Two of those, PCL and LCL. Um, so now I just ride bikes for fun and <laughs> sell bikes to other people and hope that they don't injure themselves just as much as but I you do. Still, you still get out, you still do some riding? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I still ride a couple of times a week. Obviously, you know, this place demands a lot of my time at the minute, but as long as I get to ride my bike, I'm, I'm still yeah. super happy and I get to ride with some of the amazing customers that we've yeah. got here, maybe with yourself. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. So. Basically, we're here to look for a bike. I've been borrowing a friend's bike, and it is cool. It's a good bike, but it is 15 years old, but it's, it's served me well up to now. Yeah. The sort of riding we're doing, a bit of mixture of terrain. We're not doing any like crazy bombing downhill stuff or any crazy backflips over 20 foot gaps. Not yet. N n never, yeah. uh, not now, <laughs> not anymore, not a chance. So yeah, something that's suited to that type of train, a bit of downhill stuff, but nothing too technical, you know, 30, 40 mile rides over a mixture of terrain. So it'd be great to have a look around, see what you think, see what's suited to that type of riding. Fantastic, yeah, we might have a bike here for you. Should we go and have a look? Let's have a look. First of all, it looks pretty awesome, I've got to say that, but what, what type of riding would this be sort of suited to? We've got the Scott Ransom here. This is quite an aggressive bike. Um, so this one here is probably one of the biggest selling enduro bikes that we've got here at the moment, and possibly in the UK as well. Okay. So this bike here is a 170 mil travel bike. We've okay. got 12 speed on the rear. We've got four pop brakes. Uh, front and rear, um, just so you've got that extra stopping power when you're obviously going down some Sorry, pretty gnarly descent. But I introduced the dog. What's yeah, the carry on. on. This is Dudley. Look at Dudley. How cool is Dudley? Some people pay more attention to the dog. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, absolute beast of the bike. Like I said at the beginning, it's 
the perfect all-rounder, especially being a Scott. They have a patented twin lock system, which allows you to lock out the volume of the shots um, in three separate settings. Uh, so it's it's kind of, you can use it for the more aggressive stuff and just, just over so much train in Cornwall is, the bike to have. So when you say lock it out, you don't you know, you're, you're looking on it, you do it on here. Yeah, wow. of course, yeah. So there's two levers just here. As you can just see there, the cable yeah, attached yeah. there to the rear wow. shock and the front shock with one click. It wow. alters both front nice. and rear shocks so cool. at the same time. <laughs> yeah. And then with the lane switch again, it returns it back. I tell you what, position. mountain bike technology has moved on a lot since I last had a mountain bike. Yeah. I, had, I had a Marin, but I reckon that was uh, 25 years ago. <laughs> So they maybe a little bit different. So for the sort of riding, would you say maybe you know it looks quite aggressive, too aggressive for the sort of stuff we're doing, or for what you want to be doing? Yes. Yeah. Probably uh, it, you would still enjoy it a lot, yeah, yeah, but obviously. for the kind of riding you're doing, um, it probably would just be a little bit harder, and you wouldn't be as efficient as you could be. Like copper detail. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, with the carbon <laughs> carbon handlebars on yeah, that one. So nice. And Very the uh, the forks definitely. Is that is that carbon yeah. frame? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. So we'll skip past that one. Um, what we got here, mate? This looks this is perfect. I mean, green and black for Run for Adventure colorways. Little red details looks pretty good to me. That's it. Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> lovely bike again. So this is the Marin Alpine Trail Seven. Okay. Um, so very similar bike to the other ones here just sitting next to it. This is a 150-160mm uh, bike. So again, used for enduro, slightly more aggressive riding than, than you'd yeah. like to be doing as well. Um, Would you say yeah. less aggressive than the Scott? Ever yeah, so slightly, okay, yeah, I'd say. Yeah. yeah, but then again, it's all down to the rider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, if you're an aggressive rider, you wouldn't take any bike yeah, in I'm there. Yeah, I would tell you <laughs> um, a fair weather ride. That's it, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, absolutely amazing bike. Uh, kitted out with the FSA cranks and the Shimano, again, 12 speed drive chain. It's got the Shimano four pop front and rear brakes. Um, slightly larger disc on the front. Um, what, um, what, um, what size wheels? Uh, so this one should be 29, this 29. one. So yeah, um, that way we roll a bit faster. When you're doing the much bigger, more aggressive stuff, sort of hitting sort of rocks, rock gardens, and all that yeah. sort of stuff. So when you're going over the rocks, a bigger wheel obviously sort of skips over the rocks a bit there. Smaller wheel can get jammed in, depending on how gnarly the rock garden is. So. Yeah, I'm used to riding with smaller wheels, like yeah. 27 and a half, so I'm just not sure about that, or 29, I think. Yeah, so, we'll fair see. enough, yeah. It depends on what style of riding you're doing, so yeah. there's, a, there's a bike for it. I always feel just a bit more sort of connected in the technical areas on the sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, again, depends what terrain you ride, and yeah, if you're used to riding, if you haven't ridden for 25 years on, a, on one of those kind of bikes, then yeah, you would have been back in the 26 inch. That's what I mean, 29, yeah. it's too massive. Yeah, yeah, huge. Okay, so that's two options. So this one here is the Rift Zone, uh, Marin Rift Zone to be exact. And it's got the 27 and a half inch wheels. So cool. this could be the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so this one comes with a dropper post, just awesome. the same as the other ones do. Um, this one Which is a 130 I mean, what a great invention, a dropper post. Yeah, that was, that's, like, that's been like a revelation. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. Ever yeah. since I got a drop post, I've become a bit of a drop post style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I don't know how you ride without. I, I mean, like, the bike I've been riding has got one. I mean, it's, it's a bit old and it's a bit stiff and a bit temperamental, but it makes so much difference. It's a game changer. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. ride without one. Yeah. Technology, uh, bikes, they, they've come a long way. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So, what, um, as far as components, group sets similar to the green and black one? Uh, yeah, same brand, um, but this one is a 130mm bike. So, so slightly less travel again from the one we first started on and the green and black one we just looked at. Um, this one is more than likely going to be way better suited for the style of riding yeah. that you want to be doing. Yeah. So you don't need as much travel because if you're going to be going on longer distance rides and so on and so forth, you, you want less travel. Yeah, we pick up the odd bit of road, you know, and the trail, you know, flat, dry. Yeah, trail, exactly. So. Yeah. Effectively, in some respects, um, more travel, the harder it's going to be to be pedaling along long yeah. distance yeah. rides. So there's, it's not so much what the bike's designed for. But you can so obviously, can you lock the like suspension out? Yeah, yeah, we've got a lock here, so you can lock out the rear suspension and lock out the front. Um, or you can both have them on open mode, so then you can be riding down the slightly rougher stuff when you're going out for a ride. Obviously, in Cornwall, these bikes 
Full suspension bikes are perfect yeah, because yeah, you do have yeah. a lot of rocky sort of gardens yeah. around the area, especially Cambrai, which isn't far from us. Right, folks, we've had a really good look around at all the bikes here, MT3 Cycles. There is a lot of tempting bikes in it for sure. In fact, there's a lot of tempting gear as well. Uh, I'm keeping my hands in my pocket and my wallet in my pocket, but I've made a decision and I think it's the right decision with the help of Perrin going through all the specs of the bikes and what's probably suited to my type of riding. Like I say, I've picked one out and I'm pretty happy with my choice. So Perrin, do you want to wheel her out? Let's show the viewers what we've gone for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, very fun, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you said Is you it? wanted a Perrin. <laughs> I'm not sure whether it will be quite big enough for me. All right. Although I do like the colours. Yeah, it's a lovely bike. Don't worry, that's not what I've gone for. Come on, mate, bring, on. bring the proper one out. So here it comes. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. I'm pretty excited. Can't wait to get out there and ride it. Yep, this is the steed, the beast. This is what we've gone for. We've gone for the Marin Rift Zone 3. Uh, I think it's um, perfectly suited to what I'm riding on. Nothing too extreme, but still, you know, a pretty specked out bike. And I've got to say, in the black and silver colorway, it looks pretty awesome. And with a few little red and black accents, perfect for run for adventure. But yeah, what do you think, mate? Good choice? Good choice, yeah. I think you're gonna absolutely love it. And it's a little bit different from a 26 inch wheel bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah no offense, Andy. Yeah. Thanks for lending me your bike. I really appreciate it. And it's been great. And it's got me through those first sort of four rides, but uh, I think I'm gonna notice a difference. Yeah, so that is it, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed coming along on the collection experience. I've always wanted to do a collection video and I thought this was a perfect opportunity. If you're down in Cornwall, obviously come and check out MT3 Cycles. Great knowledge, great stock, lots of accessories, and you also service bikes and stuff like that. Don't you? We do service bikes and we have great coffee. Yeah, and don't forget the cafe, which is amazing. The coffee is brilliant. We just had one and I can vouch for that. But yeah, no, thanks, mate. Thanks for all the help. Um, also, website. Website, due to be open on the 29th of this month. 29th of this month, so you don't have to be in Cornwall to use MT3 Cycles. So yeah. I'd definitely wait for that. Um, 29th, end of the month, definitely get online and check it out. But yeah, thanks mate, and thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed the experience. Hope you enjoyed seeing MT3 Cycles. And you know, we'll be back on the channel very soon, but as always, stay safe and keep on running.